Jessica. Oh my god. This has been my first vlog. This has been my first vlog in like, like so long. Like shortly after the wedding I did a vlog and that was three months ago. We made it three months in two days. So, I have so much to say and I'm going to try to say it quick because I have to edit this thing and it's going to take a really long time. So, yeah. To start off, you asked... I'm looking at what you asked. Where's my wall? You asked how today was uh, because I had my meeting. I met the kids that I'm going to be nannying and I had my first lesson. So, nannying, meeting the kids was amazing. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're so cute. The mom... Leanne is like the sweetest woman in the whole world. Six month old Brendan is the most cutest little giggly smiley little thing ever. And Cameron the three year old is adorable and smart and sweet and like when I when Leanne like when it was time for me to go Leanne the mom was like okay Cameron like it's time for Amanda to go and then Cameron's like but I want you to stay and I'm like well I'll be back next week and we're gonna uh, like, we'll play together next week when I come back. And he's like, are you gonna leave again after that? And I'm like, I'll come back. I I'll leave again, but I'll keep coming back. He's like, you'll keep, you'll leave and then come back and then leave and then come back. You're so cute. He's like, I want this Amanda to come back. I don't know if he, like, knows another Amanda or, like, if he was seeing two of me, but he wanted this Amanda to come back. I'm so excited to start work on Monday. It's gonna be awesome. And my first lesson was really good. I was scared. Uh, I thought he might not show up and he showed up and he was really nice and I had a good time and he's gonna come back next week hopefully so yeah yeah the only thing was okay this is how much of a douche I am I forgot to like ask him to pay me and like we had been talking about it being a trial lesson like and maybe he thought a trial lesson meant free because he didn't pay me and I forgot to ask for him to pay me. So I never got paid. And now it's awkward because like if he thinks that it was free, then like I don't want to ask next week when he pays. I don't know. It's awkward. <sighs> Sometimes that's why it sucks being your own boss because you have to deal with this awkward shit. <sighs> now I'm going to go way back in your Tumblr. I probably should have pulled this up earlier. I'm going to try to go back and find um find what why is Tumblr doing this oh my god I found it I was like literally I was just about to say oh I don't think it's there anymore tell me about your entire day in detail um well I already kind of told you about my day okay other than what I told you like other than the uh other than other than meeting the family and uh, having my lesson, I also went out with some of Tyler's, with Tyler and some of his uh, friends from med school. Uh, first to go out for dinner, and then to go out with him and his uh, really good friend, who it also is her birthday today. So we went out, and uh, I am I had my first tequila shots. I can't say it was a good. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then other than that, I'll show you what I did today. I'll show you. Look at the extent of these boxes. So boxes there. That's the pantry. And then boxes here. And then folded up boxes behind there. Shitload of folded up boxes in there. Boxes all over there. Boxes all over the fucking place. So today I just basically went through all the boxes that we had and put everything if it had a place, try to put it in a place. If it didn't have a place, try to make a place to put it. It was just not fun. But I watched Jersey Shore the entire time that I did it because we don't have cable and Jersey Shore is on mtv.ca for free. And yeah, I'm really cool. I'm watching season one by myself. I'm watching season three again with Tyler. And I'm watching season five while it's on. Not even, not even, whatever. Not even ashamed. How goes the job searches interviews? This is how long ago this was. I'm really sorry. 
the job interviews were shitty, apparently, but now I have a job, and it makes me so happy. How goes the moving plans for September or October? Well, September... Eh. October... I still have so many boxes, so, like... I was planning on for my uh, for my job, like for the nannying, I was gonna take a CPR course tomorrow and Friday. Bitches at St. John's Ambulance, you think that like it's like a big company, like St. John's Ambulance, that's where you go to do CPR. You think that they have some type of system worked out for you to book courses. I call yesterday, no, I call Friday, and you have to do it with a visa, and there's all this whole visa issue. I'm not even going to tell you my visa story because that's a story for another time because it was horrible. It'll take too long. I'll have to edit it out. Um, so anyway, so I couldn't do it on Friday, so I called to do it yesterday and, like, to book my course for tomorrow and Friday. And then, like, I left a message and then they wouldn't get back to me and then I called again and it was just the same thing. I went straight to message. So, like, I didn't get to book my thing, so now I'm going to have to do it at some stupid time. So from tomorrow, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I have nothing to do. Like, I, I have no commitments. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of good. Kind of, like, makes me feel like a housewife, which I don't want. So I'm just going to watch Jersey Shore and paint my nails and watch Supernatural and, yeah, just waste my life. Probably play video game. Favorite VHS that is not a Disney movie? The first thing, <laughs> the first thing that popped in my head was Spice World. Uh, that's embarrassing. Oh, I had all the Wallace and Gromit, like, shorts. The shorter movies, not the big one. I had the three shorts on VHS. It was like, remember when you used to, like, record stuff off TV? It was that. Does that count? Favorite 90s pop band? Sync is awesome. I don't care what you say. I... I feel like after four years of musical education, I have some idea of what makes a good choir. And, like, I think I've had this discussion with you guys before. And I called them chamber musician. You guys. Jess. Uh, they're so good. They're so in tune. They're so together. They're really sharp. I really like them. Favorite YTV show? On right now? Or, like, ever when I was a kid? I loved Spongebob, even though that was, like, more my brother's time, because I, my younger brother, I totally watched that with him. Also, like, Rugrats I watched, and, like, Hey Arnold, and, do you remember Pepper Ann? You're only two years younger, you might remember Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, she's too cool for seventh grade. <laughs> Pepper Ann, <laughs> that was quality TV. I don't know what channel that was on. Favorite TVO show? Art Attack? I loved Art Attack. Arthur. Oh, it was definitely Arthur. When I was 10, um, I had glasses, and Arthur was 10 years old, and he had glasses, and I thought this was like, like kismet, like, me and Arthur are like one and the same, because we're both 10 years old and we both have glasses. It's just, it was incredible for me when I was 10. How do I like True Blood Season 4? It's good. Like, uh, a lot of people are complaining about like the season and like they're not as good as season one was season one was incredible but it's still good like ugh, don't complain I don't know I just I like it it's good some of it is like so hilarious like ridiculous that I just like laugh at it when it's not supposed to be funny but like other parts are really good and like there's been a lot of good cliffhangers and Sunday is the season finale and I'm gonna miss it so I'm really upset so I have to wait until the weekend after that so Oh well. I guess I'll have to be patient. How excited am I for the Misha photo op? So excited. So this is the pose that I'm thinking of doing. It's good, huh? It's good. Yeah, I need to figure something out. Um, cause, yeah, smiling's nice, but like, I want it to be like, epic. I want to like, he's not gonna remember this shit, so I want to make it something that I'm gonna be like, look and be like, I really, I owned that photo op. I milked it for every last cent of those $65 that I spent. Um, tell me about the last thing you bought. Uh, like material-wise? Groceries. 
How much does that suck? I spent $150 on groceries, okay? $150. I'm gonna show you what my fridge looks like right now. Oh, I'm gonna, it's only 14 minutes. I have time. I'm gonna take you on a very quick tour of the apartment. Look, our new garbage can. It's really nice. And this is the pile of, of recycling. Recycling in Kingston is so ridiculous. Like, you need to like, break everything down and twine it up and you have to have plastics on one day and cardboard on another day like it's like they, do, they it's like they want you to hate recycling are you happy kingston i officially despise recycling and i was such a good recycler and a composter in mississauga and you guys are just just work this out so look fruit like some bananas some pears onions and some bagels and shit okay not very much look Look, what is this? What is this fridge? Look, my hair's in the way. We have soy milk, a little bit of regular milk. That's it. Here we have, oh wait, where? Here we have cream cheese, margarine, deli meat, and cheese. Here, lettuce. Wow. Here, vegetables. What? Oh my god, I'm falling. <laughs> this is not going well. How is this $150? Tell me this. What? And then here's the freezer. Chicken, shrimp, and coffee flavored frozen yogurt. So, so that's the last thing I bought. Being a grown up sucks. I'm gonna creep now. I wanna show you how nice I've made the living room. Uh, light. So to start off the tour, we have a Febreze plug-in. Smells really nice. Then you've seen the couch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is really hard to do with the computer. There's the couch. And now here we have my digital frame that my brother gave me. This rocking chair that Tyler really hates that I sit in when I do lessons. My lesson area, which really sucks compared to what I'm going to have, and then in this corner is the TV. It is very, you can't really tell, but here's the TV and that's how far it is from the couch. Um, I am like friggin' blind, like I can't see anything. When I drive, I am like a danger because, there, when I drive, I'm like a danger because I can't see, like, but I keep having my eyes checked and I keep going back and be like, I can't see. And they're like, oh no, you're good. Don't tell me I'm good. I can't see. Like, honestly, I don't even bother watching that TV anymore because that's why I got the rocking chair from Tyler's mom. Because I need to sit in the rocking chair like an old lady, like a foot in front of the television in order for me to see anything. So, yeah. I also just cleaned this whole thing too. Look. Isn't that nice? Nice Miss November. Isn't she creepy? Let's see if Tyler's asleep. He's sleeping. Ta-da! So, there we go. Wow, it's even under 20 minutes, so this will be actually editable. Kind of. So, yeah. Now that I'm here and I actually have privacy and I don't need to be surrounded by people, all the time for three months. I'll be vlogging it up. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna like get ready for bed. I wore makeup. Did you see my lipstick? I'm wearing a lipstick. I really like it. I don't think I've worn lipstick since I was like six and I had like play lipstick. And I'm wearing mask I'm wearing makeup. It's a big day for me. Wearing a new shirt. Ta da American Eagle had a forty percent off sale. I jumped at that shit. My hair looks like I've been run through a sprinkler though. I hate when my bangs do this thing. Like what is this? It's not a fun slide. Like get out of there. You look so stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'm gonna change Nancy's water because there's stuff floating in it. And then I'm gonna get into bed and try to watch Jersey Shore without waking up Tyler. Yay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.